Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today online for our 2022 State of the Chamber. And I uh, just want to wish you all a happy, happy new year and success in the new year. We are so excited to, um, number one, be at the chamber um, in 2022 is a rough year for everyone. So we're excited and thankful that we're all still in business and we are thriving and whatever we can do to assist you in doing that, that is exactly what uh, we want to do. So we're going to get started with our presentation. Um, before we do that, I would like to just go around the room. You want to say your name, your organization, and maybe the best um, client for you in 2022. Who do you want to connect with in 2022? Um, and let's make this a year of great referrals and recommendations within this, what I call our chamber family. So we'll just start at the top of my screen. That's easier for me. We'll start with you, Sarah. I knew you were going to call me first. Hi, <laughs> so I, I'm Sarah McNeish. I am the Development and Communications Director at Multi Service Center. I'm also on the board of the Kent Chamber of Commerce. Um, Multi Service Center is a nonprofit that provides housing, education, employment, uh, energy assistance. We operate the Federal Way Food Bank and the Washington State Long Term Care Ombudsman Program. Um, our clients are the community at large, so anyone needing assistance, anyone wanting to support our efforts to help people is who we're looking to connect with in 2022. Thank you. Thank you. Scott and Teresa. Scott and Teresa Schaefer. We run ilovekent.net and a network of local websites called South King Media for the South End, basically from White Center to Kent. And I'll let Teresa talk about uh, oh the best client the best clients anybody who really wants some exposure down here in the South End um, we have seven sites covering that large of an area we're able to uh, present a lot of reach so small businesses bigger businesses anybody who needs some communications exposure um, we're your people awesome thank you if you guys just want to drop maybe some of those sites or how you can be contacted and that's everyone after you introduce yourself. You want to put your contact information in the chat that would be great and we'll get the chat out as well because i know you guys have a bunch of sites i happen to just love i love kent you guys have breaking stories all of the time uh definitely a way to start your day is reading on i love kent for sure dennis thank you i am dennis wilson uh with harborstone credit union uh i uh, the best uh, client for us going into 2022 are those small businesses who want that personal banker the, to work with them. So that's who we're looking to for, work with this year. Thank you, Dennis. Julie? There we go. Good morning. This is Julie Schott, and uh, we own the Madison team, and we provide office furniture and all services related to that. So we can help with space planning and design, installation, uh, removal of furniture. We, we take care of all of that. And uh, the best client for us this year are probably small businesses in the local area that are either looking to move or upgrade their space or maybe you need to furnish home offices for your employees because they're going to be working from home permanently so we can take care of all of that awesome. thanks thank you julie carlotta hi well nice to meet everyone uh, my name is carlotta de julio i work at the ecu and i am actually i help with um, community involvement and business development for several of the branches, including um, I work with the manager here in Kent as well. Um, so, and and of course, you know, I guess for 2022, um, you know, of course we'll we'll take anyone. But uh, one thing that I'm passionate about this year is we do have um, um, some first-time home buyer grants. So if you know anyone that needs help with a down payment, um, we actually have a lot of grants um, going on right now. Great, thank you. Carol. Hi, I'm Carol Breeling. I want to say hi, Julie. I used to be Carol Bauer. I was in Kent Rotary with you. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, I am with the Kent Reporter and Sound Publishing, and um, 
uh, ideal customers, anybody in the community that wants to reach the community, we have print and we have all of our papers online. We go as far up as Everett for the Everett Herald. Uh, Auburn is probably the furthest south. We have King County, Snohomish County, and um, we have some papers over in Kitsap. Awesome, thank you, Dalton. Hi guys, my name is Dalton Sayu. I work uh, for Edward Jones as a financial advisor. Um, just an ideal client for myself in 2022. Anybody that's really looking uh, looking to invest in their future as far as retirement um, or savings or anything like that. Uh, doesn't matter, young or old. I work with all ages so far, and I absolutely love doing it. So that's me. Wonderful. Thank you, Christine. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I um, work with uh, and for Abyssinia Health and Beauty Clinic, and there we um, we do hair, we um, do facials, we do waxing, nails. Um, Minnie, who is our own, is the owner. She also does hair therapy with growing the hair back. So, and what, and who we're looking for our clients, um, you know, to make them feel special and make them feel good about themselves. So, it's awesome to be able to um, connect with everyone and uh, and exchange um, with business and whatnot. So, yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Christine <laughs> and John. Scully. Hello, John Scully, Scully Insurance Agency. I'm also a member of the board of directors. And my ideal client for me is anybody who needs commercial insurance. Commercial is really my bells and whistles, uh, but uh, we do all lines, anything you can name. If you have a business and you go, hey, I really don't know if I need insurance for it or what I'm doing, give me a call. We can talk about it. Wonderful. Next on my screen is Dave. I'm Dave Skipton with Successful Business Dynamics. I'm also the chair of the Kent International Festival Executive Board. And what I do is I help companies change their business strategy so it becomes reality. And a good client for me is any company that sees where they are and wants to do better, wants to have better control over their future as a business. Wonderful, thank you. Ms. Kaur? Yeah, hi, this is Marie and I am the Kent rep for Kent Reporter. So Carol kind of already covered everything, but basically our ideal customer is going to be anybody that's looking for advertising and wanting to hit that Kent community. I also handle the other papers in the area, but my main target is the Kent reporter. Um, we deliver to about 22,000 in the Kent community. Um, we're just about to start our uh, residence guide. So if anybody is interested in being a part of that, I would love to send you some information about that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's it. Happy New Year. Awesome, thank you, Marie. And then also as members, you know, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but you get 50% uh, off your first two ads. So every year that you renew, you get 50% off your first two ads with the Kent Reporter. Thank you guys so much for that partnership. Representative Orwell. Thank you. Um, so for me, it's the community, uh, making sure voices are heard and, uh, you know, helping us to shape uh, legislation Olympia. Um, and I was gonna note behind me, it says not alone. Um, we kicked off a campaign that's led by BEST and the port and SeaTac and cities around the state to raise awareness on trafficking, uh, human trafficking, which this is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. And it's being led by survivors and you're gonna be seeing signs all over transportation uh, places uh, to help people know that they're not alone and they can get help. Thank you. Thank you so much, Representative Rowell. Always on top of things that really, really matter. Um, I, I appreciate I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Anthony. Well, hi, I'm Anthony with Catalyst Travel. So uh, we specialize in group travel. Our ideal clients in 2022 are group leaders that are wanting to take their groups to travel somewhere, whether it's a uh, 
traveling with the Kent Chamber, which I'll talk about later um, as a fundraiser group on a cruise, or whether it's with your cuddle group that you have a meetup group with uh, to Costa Rica. So we do all kinds of fun group trips. Thank you. Did you say cuddle group? I did say a cuddle group. We have a cuddle group going to Costa Rica in May. <laughs> I want to spend too much time, but what is a cuddle group? So these are, um, honestly, it is a client of mine. They, she's a financial advisor, but she feels like uh, the world is missing appropriate intimate touch. And so they legitimately just get together and just hug and just connect with one another. Come on, Puerto Rico. Come on, cuddle group. Yeah. Me up. All right. I need a hug. <laughs> All right. Miss Carrie or Kari? I'm not sure how I follow that one up, but yes, it's Carrie. Thank you. Um, my name is Carrie Setlovich, and I am the uh, Community Engagement Specialist for Workforce Staffing at Amazon. So I know it's a really long title. Um, I support all of Washington, um, and Workforce Staffing is our Tier 1 level positions. Uh, so entry level warehouse, driver positions, and all of that. And uh, several of us had a meeting, a meeting with Liza a few weeks ago, I think at this point, I can't remember. Last year, I could say. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm a new member to the to the chambers. So excited to be here and be meeting everybody. And so ultimately, you know, Amazon's got some big goals and we just want to make sure that we create awareness around the wide variety of positions that are available for people to, you know, get their foot in the door. And we have, you know, kind of a big warehouse there in Kent and uh, want to make sure that, <laughs> you know, that, um, you know, we're being great community partners and, um, you know, here to answer any questions. I am relatively new to Amazon. So if I tell you, I, I'll get back to you. I promise that I will. So nice to meet everybody. Nice to meet you, Carrie. Julia. Hi, Julia. I assume we're doing introductions. Is that I came in late? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yep. Just, uh, you're, who you are, your name of okay. your organization and an ideal client for 2022. Okay. Uh, Julia Atwood, COO and partner with Shannon and Associates. We're a CPA firm, proud to be a member of the Kent community for about 75 years. Um, we have about 40 professionals. We serve, gosh, successful individuals and businesses and um, help them become more successful. Um, I am in my motorhome <laughs> today, so sorry about my background. <laughs> No worries. I miss camping. Thank you, Julia. And Davey Swamp. Carmen? Hello, Carmen Gores, Heritage Bank, Commercial Banking Officer. Um, and so we're here to really support with access to capital and financial service needs. So happy to be of assistance um, in this upcoming 2022 year. Awesome. Thank you, Carmen. I have a couple of people who are not on mic or video. I'm just going to call you out if you want to hop on. Great, Bill. Hi, I'm the Economic Development Officer for the City of Kent. I'm, I'm Bill Ellis and uh, uh, serve the business community, work with uh, developers, uh, work uh, to attract investment to the City of Kent. Uh, put my contact in the chat. Thank you. And Stephanie, if you're able to come off of mute or camera. Can you hear me? I can. Okay, good. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with my video. I can't get my camera to work, so I am here. Um, I'm with Business Development with uh, Surpro Central Seattle. We also are, um, we serve Kent, Federal Way, Northeast Seattle, and now uh, LV West. So our top clients are really anybody who's needing fire and water restoration work and yeah, for emergency services, so 24 hours. And uh, I'll put my info in the chat as well. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen here. Okay, all right. So um, welcome to the State of the Chamber. I always like to, and here at the Chamber with our staff, we start our meetings with uh, going over the mission and the vision for the organization. So our mission 
at the chamber is that we represent and protect your business by working hard to support every aspect of doing business in the Kent Valley. The Kent Chamber is the voice and the ears of the community responsive to its ever changing needs and concerns. And we pride ourselves on bringing the business community together in a dynamic and profitable way. I do wanna just highlight a couple of those words that are really important that we try to hone in on is that we represent and protect every aspect of doing business. So you will see the chamber involved in a lot of different community activities with businesses and also community members because it takes our community members to be healthy for our chamber and our businesses to be health healthy. Uh, I'm going to highlight the word Kent Valley, and that's because we really serve um, all businesses and we um, have a variety of members that are in the Kent Valley, but we go as far out as South King County. And I tell members all the time, it's really about where your client is and what exposure you want um, that would make you want to join the chamber. The other one is ever changing. Things are ever changing and uh, the chamber is here for um, to gather that information and then disseminate that information to you. So we are constantly sending out communication. Um, sometimes it is specifically to your sector or your industry or sometimes it's to the entire membership, but um, things are changing very fast. So it seems like you might be getting a lot of communication, but that's our mission is to make sure that we are, when something changes, you are aware of it and then a dynamic and profitable way. Uh, we are right now a staff of five, and so uh, we can't see everything and do everything. And so we are always open for suggestions um, from folks. So if you um, think of something that's dynamic and that's gonna maybe make you money or another organization money, we are always open for um, suggestions. The next one here is just a little bit about me. Uh, seems that we have a lot of new members on here, so I will kind of go over this slide a little bit. Um, I've been with the Chamber since March of 2019 and um, been having a really great time. I want to tell you a little bit about my background and kind of how I got here. So I was at the University of Phoenix um, for almost 10 years. I was an advisor, so I helped students with um, enrolling into college. And then in my last five years, I was the operations manager and I worked on the articulation agreements and such for the community colleges and help students as they transition out of um, college. I am the former president of the Pacific Northwest Diversity Council, and I'm also a human services commissioner. I have an undergraduate uh, degree in business management and a master's in public administration, where in my uh, administration degree, I did focus on nonprofit work. Um, my capstone project was actually on, uh, it wasn't on nonprofit work. I chose to do something completely different, which was um, EBT fraud, so uh, benefit fraud through the state. And so a uh, really pet project of mine, I loved it and it went pretty far. Uh, I'm also, and were before joining the chamber, a real estate agent or real estate broker. I had a project management company and I'm also a um, signing notary and that notary company is a chamber member. My passions are human services, dance, camping, and my family. I believe in work-life balance. I believe in bringing my whole self to work. And I believe that human services for me is really um, at my core of who I am as a person, um, making sure whatever I can do to better my community, better my organization, that is really where I am. Um, my motto um, as a leader is to lead by example and get my hands dirty. I will never ask someone to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. And so how that's really lent itself in the my professional world is my staff um, uh, are really tenured, right? I try to keep tenured staff. And I think a lot of that has to do by the way that I lead by leading by example and being transparent and honestly admitting my mistakes. Uh, I switched over and I don't know how to go back, but I do know my uh, favorite quote. Um, it is a quote by uh, Maya Angelou and it's just my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion some compassion, some humor, and some style. And that is just, uh, again, my favorite quote and something that I live by. I'd like to introduce you to our staff that I spoke about earlier that really is going to um, make sure that we are hitting our mission and our vision for 2022. 
So you have me here. We also have our operations manager, which is Annette Connor. And so if you have questions about billing or sponsorships, referrals, you can definitely reach out to Annette. We have Liza, she's our business engagement manager. And so folks that wanna host a workshop or you need to get a ribbon cutting set up or becoming a vendor for an event, that's going to be the person that you reach out to. And then we have two interns through a program that we're working with here in Washington State. Uh, we have Sophia Martinez. And so she's in charge of just general assistance with membership along with Deborah Neal, who is also an intern. So I am going to just let you know, and I'm sure all of you have been engaged because she has been a very engaged president for 2021 and a very engaged board member since the time that I started here at the chamber. Um, it's our 2021 board president, Julia Atwood with Shannon and Associates. Um, she's the chief operating officer there. The Shannon and Associates has been a member of the chamber since 1967. And before she was the president for the chamber, she was the finance committee chair. We are gonna get a chance to hear from her. She wraps up 2020, uh, 2021 and what she was able to do. Also um, our board of directors at the beginning of the year, um, actually it was the year prior, but at our retreat, I asked all of our board members, what was the one thing that they were going to bring to um, the board or to the chamber in 2021. And so these were the words that they chose and I appreciate each of them because they have done exactly what they said they were going to do. Um, one thing that I think really helped the chamber, um, all of these helped the chamber, but it was the strategy um, that our president brought to us. It was the humor that um, our incoming president brought to us because there were a lot of uh, challenges in 2021 and just having someone there that had a really great attitude definitely uh, was needed. Um, I uh, believe in constant active feedback and so Cindy Cameron was able to provide for sure honest feedback. Um, I am an education girl at heart, my sister of education, I don't know if she's on here, but uh, workforce advocacy with um, Carrie Shaw, she was able to make sure that the chamber was focused on that as well. Um, and again, all of these things that um, our board members said that they wanted to bring to the chamber, they did. So just want to say thank you so much for uh, their support and thank you so much for uh, what they brought to the chamber that's going to allow us to move into a successful 2022. Now, here's just some basic general information about the chamber and what I call your personal network. So as of today, we have 401 members. Our retention rate uh, for this year was 73%, and we had a total of 61 new members join in 2021. So there was a collective loss of about 26 members, um, 26 members, and that was really some resi residual from 2020. We were holding on to members, hoping that um, they were able to continue that investment with the chamber, but the door is always open for them to rejoin the chamber. Um, retention, again, retention is down just a bit. All of that is due to um, COVID-19. And so here, um, Liza's gonna get a video going for us here. Maybe if I click on it, it'll show. Um, there uh, were some new members out of those 60 members, 61 members that we had. Uh, the largest member we had come on this year was Domino's Pizza. And then from that on, we had Symmetrics and Mother Africa. And then we had a law firm, Van Sickle, Stocks and Perkins. Um, and so I appreciate their membership. Um, as far as the types of businesses that join the chamber, the most um, out of that 61 new members, most of, not most of them, the highest number was in the nonprofit bracket. We had some insurance brokers and some business development consultants and also some retailers join the chamber. So I say all of that to say that we are really growing as a chamber, but we're really growing as a community. Just wanna show a quick video of a uh, interview that King Five did on Kent being one of the fastest growing cities in the state of or no, just the fastest growing city in the world. So let's see if I click on it, what will happen? Can you guys see the new screen? Nope, okay. Stop sharing. And then I'm gonna share again. Here. I see. This is your home. This is your family room slash gym. The guest bedroom. Rising signs and the latest census. Can you guys hear that? 
Yes, awesome. Well, more people are moving into the city again, and Seattle is one of the 14 cities in the U.S. that saw a population growth of 100,000 people or more, and that growth extends down south. As it turns out, Kent is one of the fastest growing cities in the entire country. A lot of new people have chosen to call the city of Kent home. When you think about Kent, people still tend to think small. It's down. We're the success to be so According to our latest census report released Thursday, people are flocking to metropolitan areas. Kent was one of just 10 cities in the country that saw its population grow by at least 24% over the last 10 years. And 50,000 new people who have our larger businesses like we work in are going to, you know, transplant in. So we live here and work close by. We can see a lot of um, construction going on here on Meeker. And that's because the city is growing. People are moving here. And most people want to live and work in the same city. Oh, so the kind of growth can be attributed to the annexation of Panther Lake right after the last census. Leader Dana Rouse says that move just made things official. I've talked to a lot of members of that. Around 2009, that that the has also seen Kent transform from a place known for warehouses and industry into a welcoming place for anyone looking for their own slice of the American dream. Kent's the eighth, eighth most diverse city in the United States. And I think that that's sometimes surprising to people who are not from here, that those of us that work here that come from the North have been valued and considered for a very long time. And overall, Washington still grew by most Awesome. So not sure if, thank you, Carrie, not sure if you guys were able to see that, but that's really good for the city of Kent. Talks a lot about us growing just in general as an organization, um, as an organization, as a city. So um, I was excited to be interviewed by King Five on that and the, with the mayor as well. So that was great. And now we're going to go back to my screen so I can begin sharing. All right, so we are growing. So next is member benefits. So um, every quarter in 2022, the chamber hosts um, what's called our member 101. And the member 101 class, if you haven't taken that class, it actually tells you exactly how to use your, your membership and how to get the best benefits out of your membership. So these are just a few um, of the things that you receive uh, by becoming a member of the chamber. Obviously, we wanna show our support and our pride for being a chamber member. So there is a window clean that you should have received when you join the chamber. If you don't have one, go ahead and reach out to either one of our interns and they can make sure that we get that either mailed out to you or they're happy to drop by with that. Um, there is the free job posting and resume posting. Resume is new. So folks that are like, what do you mean resume? We'll talk about that a little bit later, but you are able to post your jobs for free on the website. Of course, um, we have a, you have a free radio ad or free radio advertising whereas they will make a radio commercial like with real radio voices, which I think is important to point out. And you can use that um, on your website and every year that you renew, you get a new uh, radio commercial. Um, along with that, I Love Kent also has a great feature for you and your organization. Um, so that's something that you get. So when you start talking about an instant return on your investment, those are the things that I would really like to point out. Obviously there's a lot more here. We have low cost or free diversity and inclusion workshops and trainings. Uh, the DEI committee that was stood up this year will be doing four different workshops that are going to be free to our members. So just keep an eye out on that. Um, and then, of course, free workshops for budgeting, planning, business uh, plans, taxes, etc. So here, social media um, has 
been around for a while and the chamber um, is really trying to grow our, our footprint on social media. So I wanted to just highlight a couple of things. We have 2,597 followers. So that's up more than 250. So we gained about 250 followers in 2021. Uh, our highest viewed video for 2021 was an interview that I did with Todd Miner. He's the owner of Nana Southern Kitchen. Had a little over a thousand views, and it was a live it was a live uh, video that we did. And then this year we are doing. So last year we did it only in the month of August, which is Black Business Month. So I interviewed eight, I think, Black businesses. And so this year, what we decided to do is we'll be doing two business interviews each month. And so if you want to sign up for a business interview and get a lot of exposure, then Liza would be the person that you want to uh, reach out to to get signed up for a business interview. And then our most liked photo or most uh, most impact photo was my picture with on the far left is Honorable Sahad Joseph, who is a congressman um, in Liberia. And so I um, am grateful for our member there on the right, Greg, who introduced him to me. Um, and we had a really great conversation and learned about some of the things that our chamber can do to help their um, economic development in Liberia. It was a really great meeting. And so we had a lot of interaction there. Um, so along with our Facebook, we have a LinkedIn page, a YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. So your information, whatever you're sharing with the chamber, if we're sharing it out, we're sharing it on all of these uh, different outlets. Awesome. Before I go any further, did anyone have any questions about that or want me to go over anything? I think I can see. If you can raise your hand or come off mute if you have anything. I know I had some new people join and we'll do introductions uh, before we end. Okay, cool. All right, so now, all right, so stay connected. So this is just a way to stay connected with the chamber. You wanna make sure that you are following us on all of our social media platforms, that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Um, and if you have just general information, you can send an email to our general box, which is info at kentchamber.com. We do have, um, of course, kentchamber.com, our website, where you can find anything. You can find the events that are going on, contact information. You can find the directory. So if you're looking for a service or need assistance, go to kentchamber.com, click on membership, and you can sort and find whatever you need. If you need an insurance agent, and uh, you can go straight down. And of course, John Scully and all of the other insurance agents will pop up. So stay connected. I am at this point because one of the ways that the chamber tries to keep you up to date is by doing a newsletter. And the newsletter comes out every Wednesday and it will, it goes back and forth. So one Wednesday, it'll be just about events, what's going on in the community, what the chamber's doing, and the next one, we try to put just information, things you need to know. But we can't hold true to that every single week because things change so fast. And so real quick, I do wanna play something that Liza created for our holiday party. So hopefully everyone hasn't seen it already, but it's our blooper reel because when you get those new weekly newsletters and you see that little video at the top that I do, it takes a lot of work. Um, <laughs> and so this will just be a quick snippet of how much work it actually takes. Liza, are you ready? Okay, I stopped sharing. Don't hear any sound like that. You guys couldn't hear that? No. A surprising find in the latest census report, more people are moving into the. Let's go back. How about now? Test, 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 test. So thank you. Record, record, record.
Hello, and welcome to your weekly newsletter. I'm Zenobia Harris, CEO for the Kent Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much to Alki Bakery for being our annual newsletter sponsor. So last week I was able to testify on House Bill, holy moly. We're having our safety summit in August. It's very important that you come to that event as well. Um, so make sure that you are registering down below. Damn it. Uh, this newsletter, you get to meet our incoming president, uh, chamber. Hi, welcome to your. Uh, well, first and foremost, this newsletter is sponsored by Alki Bakery. Thank you so much, Alki, for being our. I am so excited to say that I've got my mouth. Going over the PPP application as well as as well as the forgiveness. And we also have as a gold sponsor, Deb on it, Maria. As you know, all of the events uh, for the upcoming month are located, but we will start probably, probably, probably. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to, um, River, did you, um, hi, it's been a while since I've done a video. <sighs> I am Zenobia Harris, CE. Um, gonna quickly, we would, we sent out a few surveys yeah, on Friday. Zen, talk about the applicate. Oh, shit, I can't remember. Washington State Chamber this month. Go ahead and finish my Michelle Obama book. No, it's not a Michelle Obama. We have a great panel of speakers um, that will be there as well. So you please, uh, if you would, this from some of our partners. Sound? Nope. Tuesday. Uh, today. Girl. Speaking of, nope, yes. I am Zenobia Harris, and nope. What? Well, that sucks. Now I'm in mute. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, Liza made that video and we were just cracking up laughing for like days, days on end, but I will continue to do the videos um, each week because I think it just gives you a quick snapshot of what we're doing. So um, can anyone guess in the chat for a $20 gift card to one of our local restaurants, how many different hairstyles <laughs> did I have in that video? <laughs> <laughs> good guesses awesome <laughs> really good really good guesses Liza too many to count yes thank you yes way too many to I will count. um scroll through them and let you know <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had the number so we'll get back to you by the end of the day with that but um, again, I just appreciate you guys being so open to those newsletters. And we have a really good, just in, for, <clears throat> for your reference, the average opening of those videos or those newsletters is like twice the amount for um, our industry. So industry specific. So the videos really matter. You guys are really tapped into the newsletter. So we appreciate all of your, um, all of your support there as well. So here, just go ahead and stay connected. And then next, we're going to go to the different events. So the different events that we had this year, so I'm trying to move that off of my screen. We had over a thousand um, uh, attendees to our different events. Uh, this year, we had a total of 59 regular events and then 21 networking, different networking opportunities. They were held both virtually in person, vir virtually and in person. We connected with the Renton Chamber and the Seattle Southside Chamber for our annual Tri-Chamber event, which was really great. And um, of course, we were able to bring um, our president's gala back this year in person. And we had four of the ribbon cutting ceremonies for different businesses. And we had 11 membership luncheons. So I just appreciate um, everyone that's able to attend the events, whether that's in person 
or virtual uh, really makes a big difference. And one of the things I'd like to say about your membership is it's important for you to, you get out what you put in. And so we can provide you with connections, but we all know that people will buy from you when they know you. So anyone who's gone through any type of like BNI or Rotary or Kiwanis, you know what you put in is what you get out. So the more you're involved, the more you get out of your membership. Also want to note, let you know it's an a la carte menu. It is not designed for you to attend all of these events. It's really about what's going to work for you, where your client is, the timing, whether it's in person or not, all of those things you need to um, take into consideration. So don't feel like uh, you have the fear of missing out, FOMO. It is really not built that way. It's built for you to choose what's going to be best for you. I do wanna just highlight some of our elected officials and community leaders that were able to join us this year. I think it's very important that um, as a business that you are tuned in and you understand or you know who to contact uh, when uh, you need to. So I'm just gonna highlight some of our legislators and community leaders. Uh, of course, we have our mayor, Dana Ralph, um, who did the mayoral debate as well. Uh, but she is very in tune. She does a luncheon once a year for sure. And she constantly is showing up at our events and giving updates and also gives updates at our, at our board meetings. Of course, um, a lot of folks joined us, maybe a little over 50 people joined us when Chief Padilla talked about um, safety here in the city at our first safety summit. So we appreciate him. Of course, we held uh, different forums and debates for our legislators. So we have, um, Tony Troutner and Dave Updegrove and Brenda Fincher and Representative Orwall. And we have the mayor of Covington, Jeff Wagner here and um, our senators and representatives. So we had Karen Kaiser, Mona Doss, Mia Gregerson, and, and like I said, council member um, Updegrove and Tina Orwall that were able to uh, join us this year just to give updates. And what I learned from all of their updates is that they want to be connected to you and they're really open to listening. So we created a resource sheet that will allow you to reach out to them. You'll have their contact information. We're working on something with Dave up the Grove's office that will show you, because uh, this is something I'm just learning, but it'll show you if I'm having this issue, this is who I go to. So for instance, when we're talking about safety, that's really big. Um, instead of maybe going to your city council about the safety issues that you're having and because you wanna change the legislation, you may wanna go and speak with your senators uh, Mona and Karen Kaiser, and then also in District One. But um, but but um, I appreciate um, everyone coming in and giving us information. I do want to highlight here, right in the middle, um, our moderator Carmen Goers. I think she's on the line. Carmen and Todd moderated our mayoral debate, but they are part of our government affairs team, and so they are responsible for bringing folks like this to uh, to the chamber to speak. So thank you very much to our. Um, to our elected officials and community leaders for joining us this year. This is a busy, busy slide and it'll be on your next newsletter. So I won't go into it too much, but um, this is a list of our events that we're going to have. So this is a way that you can build out your calendar for 2022 and figure out how you are going to be engaged with the chamber. And so, um, so, so let's say you want to work on things or go to events that are focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion. It is outlined here what you can go to, when those are, the day and the time, and then you can just register using our website. Uh, but these are all of our larger events. I mean, there are things that we're going to do throughout the year that aren't here, but these are things that we already have scheduled. Um, so just take a look at this schedule here. As you can tell, we have monthly events, things that happen monthly, bi-monthly, annually. Um, and then we have um, secured, um, a, I would say a contract with Kit Lions Club to help with the far farmer's market. And so there'll be a little bit more information later on as we talk about 2022. Another uh, good way to get involved in the chamber, and again, we're just talking return on your investment or your need or desire to impact the community. We have six different committees that you can join. Our newest committee is the DEI committee. Um, and then of course, all of our other committees. So we are actively looking for committee members for all of our committees, but I'm really interested in finding people who 
have, you know, it's, oh no, it's up there at the top. Uh, folks that are have a desire to um, join our government affairs committee, they develop the ch chamber's legislative agenda and they help us, um, you know, track legislation to ensure that it is in favor for our businesses or give information. So um, Carmen, I see that you've raised your hand. Yes, I just wanted to add that we do have a lobbyist that we work with. So it's not like we have to come in with a lot of background and knowledge on that. Um, we do have people that can help you get up to speed and a lobbyist that literally um, watches bills and helps us uh, facilitate that communication between the chamber and the members. So uh, just want to encourage people. It's a great way to get involved in and to um, really be active. Thank you, Carmen. I appreciate you. that. Yeah. And then of course our ambassador committee. So the ambassador committee I always like to recommend to our new members. Um, that way you can immerse yourself into a membership. So essentially when someone joins, an ambassador will go and meet with that member, um, talk a little bit about the chamber, also talk about their business, create a partnership. Um, it's like a buddy program. Um, so if you're interested in helping new businesses learn more about the chamber, or you wanna get your business out there and you wanna connect with new members, the ambassador um, committee is a great way to do that. So next, I do wanna do a few thank yous. And so, this year has been um, very challenging for the chamber uh, and not in a bad way. It really has allowed us to grow as an organization um, and two very important people within our organization that really help us get our message out there is our media sponsor, which is Scott and Teresa Schaefer with I Love Kent. Um, they are at every single luncheon, making sure that it is on Facebook, making sure that we get it on, um, on our YouTube channel, making sure that they share it on their network. And so I just appreciate them allowing us to use their platform to share what we're doing here at the chamber. They've been a media sponsor for the chamber for a very very long time. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you do for the chamber, Scott and Teresa, and your entire team. I mean, they just don't do it alone. Your entire team, I appreciate you. Um, and this year, we actually introduced a professional photographer to the group that uh, has been taking some of our professional photos. So if you haven't noticed the difference between a photo I took of you um, maybe eight months ago versus a photo that Andrew Crane has taken of you, you may want to look in uh, through the photo album. Some really great photos um, of you, of our events. And I think it helps tell the story of what we're doing. And so again, just thank you so much to Andrew. I'm not sure if he's on the call, but thank you so much to Andrew Crane to, um, for getting all of this information out. Also in 2022, you will see, so what you're looking at right now is an actual poster that will be at every single event that we host that's in person or online, working on getting the online version. But these are posters that we're gonna put out because we definitely want to show our appreciation for our sponsors. The next set of sponsors I wanted to recognize are our gold investors. So we have Boeing and Seattle Thunderbirds. Um, the Seattle Thunderbirds, not the foundation, but the actual Seattle Thunderbirds, they give us um, tickets. What are they called? You get every ticket to every game. Somebody help me. What is it called? When you get a ticket to every single game, you get a club ticket. You're like season ticket. Season ticket holders, thank you. We are season ticket holders. And what that means is that you as members have access to the Seattle Thunderbird games at no cost because the chamber has four tickets. So if you're interested in going to a Seattle T-Birds game, come to an event, we raffle them off or call us here at the chamber and say, hey, I'd like to go when the Seattle Thunderbirds play, let's say Oregon or what have you. So make sure that you reach out to us also want to say thank you to our silver investors, the Kent Covington Reporter, I Love Kent, uh, Tacoma Rainiers, Salem Media Group, and the City of Kent. And then we have our bronze investors, and our bronze investors are Port of Seattle, UW Medicine, the Madison Team, Green River College, Cadence Living in Kent, who just opened their doors. I'm so excited to do the ribbon cutting soon. Uh, Alberto Snacks, Amazon, Easton Arrow Sausage, uh, Cisco, AJAC, uh, which stands for Aerospace Joint Apprentice Committee, uh, Puget Sound Energy, and Sound Transit. Thank you so much um, for being investors of the chamber. There are so many 
um, of our copper level investors, there is another level of investors here that I did not make a slide for, so I'll just apologize in advance. Um, but uh, thank you so much to our copper level investors um, that, uh, and, and what I mean by an investor, just in case you know, they go above and beyond financially of their standard dues, right? So your standard dues, they're either doubled or tripled or quadrupled. And um, like, for instance, Boeing and Seattle Thunderbirds are coming in at the $5,000 level just to give you a gauge of what that looks like. So definitely appreciate our investors and all of our members here at the chamber. I do want to just go over our 2021 vision and what we were able to accomplish in 2021. Uh, we were able to stand up a new committee at the chamber, which is no small feat. Uh, and so we stood up a diversity, equity, and inclusion committee. Right now we have about 10 committee members um, that are um, dedicated to their um, dedicated to their mission statement, which is to ACE, to um, advance, um, celebrate, and educate on diversity, equity, and inclusion. We had monthly networking events every single month, uh, whether they were in person or online. We were able to successfully pull off a in-person, 200-person uh, gala uh, at, in September of 2021. And then we also did our monthly business essential workshops. Uh, we had a grant writing series. It was a three part, six hour grant writing series. If you want to take a look at that, you actually can find that on our YouTube channel. And we um, have a chamber intern program. Chamber intern program. I'm sorry, did someone have something? Okay. Yes. Um, chamber intern program. We did a newsletter overhaul. We did a survey at the beginning of last year, um, a, a beginning of last year that says that the, um, the newsletter had too much information. It was too busy. So we tried to bring it down just a little bit and be a little bit more succinct. And so I appreciate oh, you guys as we worked through that. So we had a newsletter overhaul. Uh, we updated all of the chamber logos on Chamber Masters. So if you have a new logo for your organization, um, just make sure that you get that over to us. We have a business incubator space. And thank you so much to the Madison team who um, they put all the furniture in for our incubator space. So if you are a home-based business or a small business or you're working from home, um, we do have a space here at the chamber that you can use um, um, as well. And then we have the equity luncheon. We were able to have an equity luncheon um, put, on, put on by our DEI committee, which is something that was their one goal for 2021 and they were able to accomplish that. I am gonna go back because I see in the chat um, that I, of course I said that I missed the bronze, but I do wanna just highlight our, bra, our copper level members. We have Denali, Fredo, and I have it on my wall up here. So that's why it probably looks weird. Like where is she looking at? Uh, Denali uh, Federal Credit Union. Denali, no, Denali, a new, vi a new vision. I'm going to get that right. I'll come back to it. Purgis, uh, we have IBEW, University of Phoenix, uh, John Schneider with Edward Jones, the Madison team, Aegis Living, Tacoma Stars, Alki Bakery, AAA Pest Control, your Money Matters, Northwest and uh, Northwest Harvest, Team Marty, and um, Cindy Cameron with Fairway Independent Mortgage. So those are our copper level investors. All right, so now I'm going to um, turn this over to Liza, but I would like to just recognize before I turn it over to her, we were able to recognize at our President's Gala, our 2021 President Gala Award recipients. We had Julia Atwood with Shannon and Associates. Uh, she was a Chamber Member of the Year. Cindy Cameron with Fairway Independent Mortgage received the President's Award. Darius Williams accepted the award for Northwest Industrial Staffing, which was the Business of the Year. We had Mike Heinish accept the Marge Williams Citizen of the Year Award. And last but not least, many accepted the new business of the year, many with Abyssinia Hair and Beauty Clinic uh, for 2021. Thank you so much, Keith. It is New Vision Credit Union instead of Denali. So it's the New Vision Credit Union is also a copper level member. Liza? 
Thank you. So um, we are going to um, move on to some new awards, um, just a few um, small pieces of recognition um, to round out 2021 because you know we had so many um, great pieces of um, you know new things happening and so many um, participants with us and so there we um, you know accomplished a lot of our goals because of because of you guys because of the members so the first one is going to Miss Teresa Schaefer for being the best dressed gala guest. Um, as you can tell, they uh, to the photos on the right there, um, she was um, on theme and very festive um, as a volunteer at our um, gala this year. So I actually do have a physical award for you too here so we can get together and figure out a way to get that to you. But congratulations, best dressed gala guest. All righty. And then the next one is going to our events committee. They um, are being awarded the um, Outstanding Committee Award uh, because we could not have thrown together the gala without all of you and without all of your help. Um, I would also like to recognize our volunteers under this umbrella. Um, all of the folks that helped us out, um, you know, ahead of time and during the day of the gala, um, I, you know, I can't say it enough, like uh, Zenobia said earlier in a presentation, you know, we are a fairly small team. And so all of the, the support that you were all willing to give us was, you know, was giant, it was a giant help. So very much appreciate that. Like I said, there's a physical copy here for you all as well. And so thank you so much to our volunteers in our events committee. Alrighty, so the next one is the Longest Chamber membership. That one is going to Warren Secord Automotive and Tire. Um, as you can see there, they have been a, a, a Ken Chamber member since 1965. Uh, clearly, I was not around then. That is the long, longest one that we have. Um, and that's a big deal for us because the Chamber has been around since 1964. So, you know, they've been around since day one, practically. Um, they are... Um, automotive service professionals that you can certainly trust. They are ASE certified technicians um, and they use the latest tools and equipment when servicing your vehicle. Um, they have been um, giving a quality auto repair in Kent since 1965. Um, they are um, skilled in foreign and domestic cars, trucks and SUVs, and they specialize also in um, tire sales and repair. So they do it all. They take pride in their customers and the quality service, and um, they provide all those repairs at a fair price. So thank you to Warren Secord for sticking around with us for so long. All righty, and the next one goes to Mr. Dave Skipton for the most events attended in 2021. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few pictures there of Mr. Dave uh, and showing up with us at all of our events and being such a gracious volunteer and you know a wonderful chamber member. And so we're really excited to have him. He has, I think I, I've seen his face most <laughs> at all of the events since I've uh, been with the chamber. So um, a familiar face is you know, never a bad thing. Um, and I'd also like to give Mr. Dave Skipton a couple of minutes to tell you um, about his organization. Dave, if you're available. Thank you very, very much. Liza, that, that's a surprise. <laughs> but um, most people know me as part of the Kent International Festival. I'm actually a member of the chamber for my business. And what I do is I'm with successful business dynamics. I'm a management consultant. I help businesses change their business strategy and help them turn it into reality. I do that by basically approaching business in a holistic fashion. I look at the entire business. I don't look at just development or just personnel or whatever. And I provide consulting, I provide tools, and I also provide software that is patented and based on a system of management that's been used for years by Fortune 500 companies all over the year, all over the world. One of the, th couple of the things I do 
for example, is I provide a software that is trademarked. And what it does is it works on the idea of statistical management. Rather than just being a record of what's going on in a business, what it does is it allows a person to fully see and dig down into what's occurred in the business in the past, as well as how to predict future events. And it helps every level of management and all the way down to the very individual personnel within a company to be able to gain control of their particular area and be able to use um, trademarked and, and patented procedures to actually gain control and be able to take whatever they find in their business um, software and be able to gain control of their business in their area. Now, the other area I deal with is I have a lot of tools and my training, which goes over employee engagement. I try to get everybody on the same, on the same team working in the same area. And like I say, these tools have been used by businesses all over the world successfully. And that's what I do is I put those in and help them become a team. Thank you. All righty. Thank you so much, Dave. Um, if anybody would uh, like to connect with Dave, I'm, I'm sure that his information is already um, in the chat. And if not, we are happy to get you acquainted. So thank you so much, Dave, and congratulations. Um, and then if Zenobi's still there, uh, we have one more award right after. Um, the next one is the sponsorship award, and that is going to go to Abyssinia Hair and Beauty Clinic. Um, I know we have a representative from um, Abyssinia on the line with us today. Um, so this award is um, going to Abyssinia for being the highest contributor of sponsorship funds uh, to the chamber in 2021. Um, that's exactly like it sounds. You um, have supported us so that we can support the rest of our membership. Um, so we are very appreciative of, of your membership and your contributions to the chamber. So thank you so much. Um, and then just to uh, circle back to our quick little trivia about uh, Zenobia's hairstyles um, in her blooper video, um, both Stephanie and Dalton had the same guess and it was the closest without going over. So I will say if one of you could tell me the hairstyle that occurred the most in that video, you will break the tie and get that gift card. Well, that's hard. Are they going to know? <laughs> oh, Stephanie's fast. I think she's got it. It's the long braids. You would be correct. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Cool. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Liza. I appreciate that. Um, we're thinking of different things to do. I mean, throughout the year, there are so many people that assist us at the chamber and it's really important for us to recognize them because we are such a small staff. We appreciate all of the help. Um, and there are many people that stop by the chamber to assist us with a variety of things. Um, and so I really just appreciate appreciate you. I did put a note in the, in the chat to make sure that you put your name, your contact information, um, into the chat there. Folks that have joined a little bit late after our introductions, you will have a chance to introduce yourself here at the end. I'm almost done with my presentation. I don't have too much more to go over. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is our 2022 vision. Um, our vision is the same from last year. And we have a new team, we have new ideas, new members and new opportunities. And so um, some of these, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth and one of them is the referral program. Um, so I won't speak on that right now. <clears throat> There are, will be monthly networking events, and um, those events are going to be held right now online until we are uh, clear to go back in person. Uh, we'll decide that here at the end of this month after our uh, board meeting. We have our gala already scheduled, already secure for next year. It's the exact same date. Um, we're going to try something different. We're going to do it on a Saturday this year. So that way we really can get people engaged in the theme and get people engaged in dressing up 
and not feeling like you have to rush out of work to make it to the chamber event. We were going to do it on Saturday, September the 24th. Um, it's going to be at the same play. It's going to be at Green River College. And the theme this year is Vegas theme. We haven't decided if it's vintage Vegas, if it's old time Vegas, high roller Vegas, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be Vegas and it's gonna be fun. Uh, we still have our business essential workshops going on this uh, year. And if you have, so the education piece for the chamber is two part, meaning we will put speakers in front of you to help you get information that's gonna help move your business forward. But some of you uh, may want to do a presentation on your product or your service that will help the businesses. So Liza would be the person to contact if that is something you want to do. Uh, we are going to be doing the best of Kent in partnership with the Kent Reporter. So I'm really excited for that partnership as well. Thank you all, Carol and your team for um, coming and meeting with us a few weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, I don't know about that. Um, then we're working on a chamber inter intern program with Green River College and other partners, making sure that interns in our community, or I'm sorry, in our colleges, in our community colleges, our trade schools, our high schools are connected with businesses here. So our education committee is actively working on um, what that process looks like. And so each of you and all of membership will receive a survey. Um, thank you so much from Dee with uh, Kent School District for getting that done with us. Um, she's a CTE advisor. And so I appreciate her putting together that survey. We'll get that out to all of you so that we can better understand what your needs are so we can get an intern in to assist. Uh-oh. Alrighty, And then we are also going to be doing quarterly newsletters that are a little bit more in depth. Um, to kind of showcase our different businesses. So be on the lookout for a quarterly printed newsletter as well. Um, we have the Small Business Incubator Program. I believe my meeting is next week or the week after. Whereas there's a 10-step program that we've designed at the Chamber to walk your business from everything from starting your business to having a succession plan and everything in between. So we'll talk about marketing. We'll talk about hiring and firing. Um, and all of these courses, air quotes, um, will be taught by professionals. And we also have UW Tacoma uh, instructors coming in to teach some of those classes as well, specifically our marketing class. So it's going to be a really great program to help your business grow um, and really create a great foundation. Uh, we're, we'll be doing equity luncheon. So this year, the goal for the DEI committee is to have four different programs. Uh, so I don't know of the exact, now that I think about it, I know it's one every quarter. Uh, we'll be doing an equity luncheon and then we'll do a big conference, an equity conference. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. Our resume board. So prior to, you know, next month, all, all we do as a service for our members is allow you to post your jobs and we send those jobs out and we post them on our website and all of our social media. Well, what I learned through COVID is that there are a lot of people that were out of work and they sent me their resume and said, hey, Zenobia, can you get this resume in front of people? Who's hiring? Uh, you know, does someone need my skill set? And so I thought, wouldn't it be great if we still kept the job postings, whereas our, organi our companies can post their jobs, but we'll start to post the resumes for these folks. And then that way, as a company, you can go in and look at those resumes and you can contact them. Makes it a little bit easier by looking at the resume. I think it's important also to interview people too. Um, but just by looking at their resume, you'd be able to pull up um, and see if they're gonna be a good fit for, for any of your positions, either now or even in the future. So there'll be a new resume board coming soon. And I'll be working with our staffing agencies here at the chamber to get that going. And then, like I said earlier, we are um, working with Kit Lions Club and I just appreciate them trusting us. Uh, this, they've been doing this for a very long time. And so we're gonna be helping them with the farmer's market. And uh, what that means is our members have the opportunity and it is limited because it is a farmer's market, right? So it's limited to our, our, like a standard business, but you'll have the opportunity to have a booth on the Saturday at the farmer's market where thousands of people walk through on a weekly basis. I wanna say it's like a 16 week um, market if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, just be on the lookout for the sign up sheet for that. I know it's going to go really, really fast. Uh, so just be on the lookout to uh, get a booth at the farmer's market. So I'm going to go to the next slide. Well, before that, does anyone have any questions or comments about anything? You can raise your hand or come off of mute. Awesome. 
Okay, so just wanted to talk about our sponsorship campaign that um, that came out earlier. I think it came out in maybe October or November of last year. And um, it's our sponsorship for 2022. These are just highlights of things that are really different for the chamber. And we're looking for sponsors for these. This, um, these sponsorships are a little bit different. All the money that you bring or we bring in for the cash mob and the chamber community cash is going right back into the community. We already have one sponsorship for the cash mob. So essentially you sponsor, let's say $300, $500, you call the number. The chamber will then purchase, um, purchase gift cards for that particular business. And then we'll go in and we will spend that money at that business. And so there's a process to it. It is out loud here, but it allows you to give money directly to the business businesses um, and help them grow. Same thing with the chamber cash, except for it's just a little bit differently. Um, and so we've been providing uh, gift cards with your logo on it for folks to shop locally here in the city of Kent. We have our Pacific Northwest Equity Economic Equity Summit. And with um, the Renton Chamber and also the Seattle Southside Chamber. This is be the third annual equity summit. So I appreciate the sponsors. I think uh, Multi-Service Center has already um, uh, sponsored that, but we're definitely looking for more sponsors for the equity summit. We have the Women's Conference. This year, our Women's Conference is gonna focus on work-life balance and health and heart health to be specific. And so I would really like for all of our women and then all of our supporters to join us at our women's conference that will be in March. And of course we have our president's gala in 2022 and our diversity in business summit of 2022. So these are, if you haven't received or you wanna receive a sponsorship packet, just let us know, we'll get another one out to you. Otherwise you can visit it on, or you can see it on kitchamber.com. So we are going to go, Liza, to the will of names. And on the will of names, what I would like to do um, while you're getting that going, I'm just gonna talk about another thing that is new for 2022 is the chamber referral program. And uh, you know, we basically, we need your help. We need you to introduce us to new businesses that are not a part of the chamber. So even your neighbor, Right. Hey, Zenobia, this business just, um, you know, popped up last week. It's a new business. They're new in our complex. All we're looking for is a introduction. So you'll notice here there's two type of referrals. There's a referral where it's just an introduction. You literally can send me their name, their email and or phone number. You get one point for that. That allows us to uh, reach out to the business, whether they're new or it's just your neighbor. Um, and then you have the new member which is an introduction that results in a new member and a new member. And hopefully that makes sense because now that I said it out loud, it doesn't, but I feel like it does make sense. And um, you have that there. And these are the different benefits. It's not, does this mean I have three points already? Yeah, <laughs> it starts in 2021, John, but we'll give you a half a point. So yeah, you effectively have a point and a half. Good, thumbs up, thumbs down, we'll talk about it. So um, the referral, uh, these are just some of the different benefits um, that are available to you, but if there's something else in our sponsorship packet that interests you, just let us know, but we appreciate you um, introducing us to new businesses, and we can go from there, and this is on an annual basis, right? It's year within year, not over time. The next one is the trespassing sign. So um, when you're joining as a chamber member, you'll notice down at the bottom, there's a, there's a link there and we'll send this out. You can fill out a trespassing enforcement authorization form. And essentially we have these signs from the city of Kent that we will give to you so that you can have a no trespassing sign. And all this means, and of course you'll have to read it. And if I have anyone from the city or this department on, I'm just giving a brief snippet, but essentially what it means is um, if, someone is trespassing, you have this sign, the officers can trespass them without your, uh, without contacting you. They don't have to get a hold of you. They don't have to be doing anything. It's literally just a no pass, uh, no trespassing sign. So let us know if you would like to sign up for that program and we will get that sign and also well, the authorization and the sign to you as well. All righty. So I think, are we ready for Willa Names, Liza? Awesome. So I'm gonna stop sharing. And uh, we found this cool thing, it's called the Will of Names. We've put everyone's name in here. 
And this luncheon was scheduled for um, in person. And so we had a lot of members that had paid for a lunch. I mean, they did, they paid for a lunch because we were gonna have it in person and then we decided to do it online. And those members don't want their money back. Uh, they want the chamber to keep it. And so we're gonna give some of that money away today because that's what's important. And we're gonna give you uh, gift cards to visit some of our local restaurants or shops here in the area. Um, and so Liza, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Oh, we can't hear the music. <laughs> Yay, Sarah McNeish with Multi-Service Center. Yay, so $25 gift card to, let me write this down, hold on. Sarah, $25 gift card to your choice. It has to be a member of the chamber. So you go into the directory, choose, or it looks like you know right now. Do you know what you want? I was going to say, I will donate my gift certificate to the gala auction. So Ooh, thank you. You pick uh, whatever you want for the gala auction. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Liza, spin the wheel. It's so hard on that music. Minnie, sorry, you have to be here to win. One more time. Is that bad? Sorry, should I give it to her? Someone tell me, someone help me. This is why we have presidents of the chamber. Board members, do we give it to her? <laughs> I, you have to be present to win. All right, let's go for a spin. <laughs> I agree. Okay. Really? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is not going the way that I thought it would, but that's okay. We're going to spin one more time. <laughs> Woohoo, Carlotta. Oh, that's exciting. Yay, congratulations. <laughs> so if you don't know um, what businesses you're able to get a gift card for, you can look at our um, website. And just look at all okay. of our members um, and um, or if there's like a favorite restaurant downtown Kent, I can just tell you right off the top of my head if they're members or not. So just reach oh, okay. out to us I'll, and let us I'll know look, what you want. Okay, I'll look through that. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, you can also get a $25 gift card to Abyssinia if you're feeling some kind of way that she wasn't here to win. They Ooh, do great okay. coloring. They do great. They do great here. They, oh, awesome. I can't think of the girl's name, but she cuts the heck out of some bangs. She's really good. I can't think of her name <laughs> okay. right now, but she's a good bang <laughs> All right. One more spin of the wheel. All right, our Carlotta, you get to choose someone because you know no one here. So you choose someone to win a $25 gift card. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm just going to Pressure. look at the wheel here and Carol. Carol. <laughs> awesome. Carol with the Kit Reporter. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Liza. Thank, Thank you, you, Carlotta. <laughs> cool. Awesome. I am just looking for Julia. Julia, are you on? Okay, I am. Here. Awesome. I am. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're just going to go to our last slide here and give you an opportunity to kind of close us out. Where are we at? Sure. Okay. So again, um, this is just going to be an outgoing message from our current president, um, well, our last year president, Julia Atwood. I just want to express my sincere thank you to Julia for all of her hard work um, through COVID, but also just in general, she really got us organized as an organization. What she said she was going to bring to the chamber, she did. She was engaged. I don't know if she ever really missed any luncheons or any events, um, really has been there to listen to me, to help me grow professionally, to help the board get organized. I think everyone now understands Robert rules. I think everyone understands now that their voice matters. And I think everyone is really engaged that's on the board. And I will have to say that that is due to the hard work and time and commitment that Julia has put into the chamber. So Julia, your outgoing message, and then you can introduce our new president for 2020. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you, Zenobia. I um, I was thinking about this message and the you know the gala um, theme was um, back in business and I really think that is the was the theme for really the chamber and um, when I think back to January uh, 2021 which seems like a long time ago um, we had one employee our CEO who had really held up. Um, you know, the chamber for all of 2020 all by herself. And um, we're closing out 2021 with with five employees. And while it might be easy to look, I, I go back to that first slide and and uh, where we have 401 members and we and and a loss um, of 26 members. I don't think that really tells the story. Um, we have you know, not just survive 2020 and 2021, but we really have thrived. And you can see that in the accomplishments um, that Zenovia had up earlier, um, you know, bringing back the, the in-person events as we could safely. Um, and really Zenovia and her team being creative about thinking of new ways to serve the, the members and really, um, if you're going to find joy in 2021 and opportunity, I think it's that learning and um, and developing new ways, new ways to serve our community, new ways to thrive as a chamber. And um, I just want to give, you know, an enormous amount of kudos to Zenobia and her staff. And I'm really happy to say and her staff. Um, so um, so that's that's kind of what the way I see 2021 going. I'm you know, it's been an honor to serve. Um, I will continue on the executive board as the past president to um, to help um, continue what we we started in 2021. I know there are a lot of board members on the call right now. I want to thank all the 2021 board members, incredibly engaged people and um, really contributed an enormous amount to help support Zenovia and her leadership. Um, and I know there are some new board members on, so we're excited about that um, as we go into 2022. And we actually have a board retreat coming up, which, which we're really looking forward to. Um, I hope we can get back to um, some more in-person events, hopefully once we get past this latest surge. And I think what we've heard from our members is that you know, the networking and in-person events are just so much more meaningful and help us grow our relationships and our businesses and, and uh, really support the chamber. So with that, I, oh, I have one more thing. I'd, you know, love to see some new committee members. I think we all would love to see some new committee members. That's a great way to get involved in the chamber. Um, great way to dip your toe in it if you haven't been involved before. Um, so that's my plug for that. And now um, it's my honor to introduce uh, Sarah McNeish with the Multi-Service Center. She is our 2022 board president. So Sarah, I'll turn it over to you. Thanks, Julia. You are going to be a hard act to follow. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you all again on this call for joining us today for the State of the Chamber. Um, I'm honored to be serving as the 22 Kent Chamber of Commerce President this year. Um, we have an amazing staff. Uh, they do great work led by Zenovia, and they are working tirelessly to ensure that you, our members, have the information and resources you need to help your businesses thrive. So I hope that 2022 is our best year yet. And I just a little plug as the former events chair, the events committee is the best committee to be on and Yvonne and Suzanne will be awesome event committee chair so join that committee. <laughs> um, other than that, <laughs> I'd love to see you at any other upcoming events that we're having um, throughout the year, hoping that you know we can be in person like everyone uh, and just thanks again for joining us today. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Sarah. I appreciate that. And I appreciate Julie. I appreciate everybody, um, my team, my board, um, volunteers, members that, you know, stuck it out with us. And so um, I hear some information. So my, my contact information, and then also my cell phone, sometimes that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. As we all know, things are happening and moving fast. So if you need to, you can always just reach me on my cell phone. Um, and yeah, so are there any questions, comments, concerns? Otherwise, we can just introduce some folks that weren't able to um, that weren't able to be introduced. Yay.
Well, great comments. When Julia and Sarah get a chance, read the comments. I'll be sending them out as well. Um, but yeah, thank you all for joining us today. Um, is there anyone that would like to share or introduce themselves that weren't able to do so earlier today? Suzanne, I see you're here. Hi, I'm Suzanne Cameron with Around the Clock, Inc. And I uh, am on the events committee and on the board. And I'm glad to be here. Awesome. What organization and who is your ideal client for 2022? I'm sorry, what? Your ideal oh. client for 2022 and your organization. Oh, Around the Clock Incorporated. Uh, we uh, specialize in residential management and uh, our ideal client is a, a property owner who has a rental property or um, a community association that needs some association management. Awesome. We might be leaning on you for a workshop. I get a lot of calls. Actually, I'll just send them right to you now. I know your number. Uh, get them right <laughs> over to you that uh, with the landlord laws and a lot of things are changing there. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with those properties? So yeah, I think that'd be a great workshop. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. Hi, Zenobia. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I'm Michelle Wilmot with the City of Kent in our Economic Development Division. And I'm looking forward to working with you all again this year. Hopefully, hopefully, um, 2022 is going to be better and easier on a variety of fronts, particularly with COVID. But um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Zenobia and thank her for all of her um, work in, in um, sharing critical, ever-changing information that we try to disseminate to the business community with regards to the different rules and, and regulations around COVID and as well as the different resources that are um, coming available both from the federal level and the state and a variety of private organizations. And um, I just so appreciate her extending um, my reach um, to reach out to our businesses that are members of the chamber. So thank you, Zenobia, for that and Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Michelle provides us an update from the city monthly at our government affairs committee. So if you want to know what's going on there, definitely jump into our government affairs, if nothing else, to hear uh, what's going on at the city level. So we appreciate that and appreciate the engagement. Um, I skipped over him. Um, well, I didn't skip over him, but I do want I skipped over some of the um, awesome opportunities we have to potentially do in 2022. So, and I think some of you guys may have signed up for some stuff at the gala. So Anthony, you just want to kind of talk a little bit about, we know what your organization is, but some of the things that you're kind of pitching for the chamber to do. Yeah, of course. So um, in the chat box, I'm going to place the flyer for this. Um, but the chamber is looking at actually doing a fundraising cruise uh, for this year doing an Alaska cruise. So uh, fund, fundraising is difficult for a lot of nonprofits and the Kent Chamber is one of those that we want to support and travel is a great way of being able to, to do that. So um, we have a great partnership with Holland America. Um, they're going to donate uh, stuff for every cruise that comes through. Uh, for the chamber, we're going to Make sure that the chamber is just supported. So we have that going out June 4th of this year. So I'm going to put that in the chat box so we have that. And that's just a normal uh, Alaska cruise uh, going from out of Seattle, uh, going through uh, Puget Sound to Juneau. Uh, Glacier Bay, Icy Strait Point, Sitka, Ketchikan, Victoria, and then back to Seattle. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much um, for that, Anthony. Um, I know some people, especially my board members, like, what? We're doing what? We'll talk about it on the 15th. We're talking about it. But I wanted him to give the opportunity. He can tell it better than I can. But great opportunities to travel. I think a lot of people are interested in getting out and doing more. Um, so we appreciate the partnership with Catalyst Travel um, for that. Keith, I see you have your hand raised. Hi, good afternoon. Can you hear me? We can. All right, so I'm Keith Mosley, and I'm with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation as a loan officer. And I am uh, on the executive committee on the board and uh, one of the co-chairs for the finance committee. And an ideal client that I'm looking for for 2022 is, you know, we are still navigating 
uh, low interest rates, but we've heard little birdies out there that rates may be going up. So if anyone has questions regarding you know, what we can do, if you know someone who's looking to purchase their first house and wants some education, uh, send them my way. Awesome, thank you, Keith. My pleasure. Yeah. Did he say he's the treasurer? I appreciate Keith. He keeps us in line, makes sure the books are balanced, does a really great job. So I appreciate Keith and all of his hard work in, um, in 2021 and beyond, so. Well, good. Was well, there anything else? I want to give you all more time back in your day, which is always good. Um, but is there anything, anyone have any updates or anything they need to talk about? Okay. Well, awesome. Well, I sure appreciate you. You all will, um, the recording will be on our YouTube channel. We will send out the chat via email with all of the contact information. So if there's anyone you want to contact or connect with, you can do so. Um, and we just appreciate you. Happy New Year. And we will see you soon. Bye. Great job. Thanks, Zenobia. Thanks, Julie.